And I've been really thinking about my journey as a black woman, my presence here in America. Hi, I'm Melanie Barnett, and welcome to my studio in Brooklyn, New York. And I've been working in clay for the past two years. Prior to that, I've been known to make bespoke rugs by working with artisans in Nepal, India, and China. I really loved doing it, but I felt that it was time for me to explore other mediums, and I was so eager to make something with my very own hands. I discovered that I was very interested in clay, and I started to take some classes. And lo and behold, I found my new passion. My first year of college, I had a class, um, our African American art history class. And it was the first time that I was able to read about artists who look like me, and I was able to relate. And it was the life of Edmonia Lewis, Augusta Savage, and Elizabeth Catlett that always stood out. And I decided to go back and study their journeys again. I start with photographs, specifically all black women, because I wanted um, my work to really reflect the experience of black women. I photographed a friend of mine wearing a head wrap, and head wraps have many various meanings culturally. So I wanted to bring that into um, the vessels that I've created and figure out a way to translate the clay to have the same type of folds and you know, organicness and as fabric does when it folds. So glazing involves hand painting, using different techniques that are similar to use to make textiles. Specifically, I've been looking at Adore fabric from Nigeria, which is a wax resist textile. So I'm, I'm really tapping into the same process, but just using clay as the um, surface to develop that language. So I'm using wax on the clay in addition to underglaze as well as um, glazes and, and other washes to create this uh, crackle type old vintage type of effect. I want my pieces to feel that they're aged and they have history and story even though that they're brand new. So after I do the underglaze of painting all the intricate patterns, I apply a wash over it and then I add some of a crackle glaze and then it has to go through the fire. Working with clay is very spiritual for me and process is very important and it's a key element when we're talking about black cultural design, which is my focus. I always think about what my life would be if black people were not kidnapped and brought here, if our history was different. I always feel that the work that I would be doing would be either making pots, making textiles, but something creative. So I'm constantly wanting to go back to the source to connect with the women specifically who are, make, who are still making these arts. Unlike any other material that I've worked in, I feel that clay allows me to explore pretty much all my desires and interests when it comes to being creative. Because I get to paint, I get to make something with my hands, I get to work with a material that's part of the earth, um, so it's not limited to a location. I look at clay as a way to connect with my ancestors. So right now, I'm not set on anything. I'm really happy where I am, focused on process and discovering different ways to you know, represent my journey and story. And once that process is done, then voila, I have the finished piece. I don't feel that black women have um, had enough of a voice in this society, and I feel it's my duty as a black woman to continue to find ways to amplify our voice and our story. Which is really important to me is, is connecting to my ancestors and you know carrying on that legacy. So Clay allows me to continue on that journey and connect the dots 
and learn more about myself as well as share my culture with the greater community to encourage people to have more in-depth conversations around black culture.